Hey everybody, Scabber Gaming here. Today I'm playing Unturned, which is the first time I've played this. Um, but it's a fairly old game, it's a couple of years old now. Now, um, it's a survival game with the kind of aesthetic of Minecraft, although probably actually a little better, because at least it's smooth terrain and stuff, it's not blocks. There's not, um, it's not like Minecraft in the sense that you destroy blocks and create things and stuff like that. It's more like DayZ. Um, now I haven't played it, I've done the tutorial, but this is the first time that I've given it a go and there's, there's zombies over there already. So I have no idea what's going to happen. I just haven't even done anything so far. I'm kind of wondering how this is going to work. Now, I don't think I have anything. I'm wearing a police uniform, which is kind of cool. But I'm assuming that I can sort of creep into this place and try and loot something before I get hammered by zombies. Although that's absolutely not at all in any way confirmed. Is there anything in here I can use? Do you think I can beat a zombie up with my hands? Well, I can punch. There are a lot of them though. Maybe I could sneak in. Yeah, they seem pretty stupid. <laughs> that's good. Now, this is like a zombie survival horror type game. Horror is probably a a mis <laughs> mistake to say actually. It's just like a, a zombie survival game. Um, now it gets great reviews and I've been meaning to try it for a long time. It's completely free to play so you guys should probably check it out as well. I picked up a loony. <laughs> What's a loony? No idea. But yeah it's completely free to play and so far I'm actually pretty pretty impressed with it. For like a, a small time sort of indie game, it's got like um, like open servers and stuff, so you guys can just jump in wherever you want. I'm just playing single player at the moment because I want to get you used to the game first. I managed to get in and out of there pretty quickly without getting seen, and that's <laughs> somebody down there is on fire, so that's nice. So that can happen. Um, <laughs> now you get loads of bars at the bottom here. You got health, food, water. What looks like radioactivity protection or some sort of toxic protection. We have stamina which probably yeah that just that seems to go up without affecting your water or food so that's good um, and then we have what I think is air well, it's, that's what it seemed to be in the tutorial now if I'm gonna go to the lighthouse because um, that town just looked mentally overrun with zombies I'm not sure I want to get into a fist fight with a bunch of zombies right now. Where's a car? That may have fuel in I don't know I'm going to see how this goes because I've played um, Miscreated and I actually really enjoyed it. This has got fuel as well and it's a purple off-roader. Let's check out the tower, the lighthouse and then maybe I'll, I'll go for a drive. <laughs> don't know how long that fuel's going to last. <gasps> oh god, <laughs> crap, that actually scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Oh, that was just like really instant like ah. <laughs> oh wow so he got 20% of my health down just like the first zombie I come across there's no loot from him though so that's a bit pants oh there's another one inside I can probably take him I don't know I mean that guy seemed pretty feral picked up the day pack should we see what's in it before we attack this guy this might get something cool we got some corn, <laughs> some some loony. I still don't know what that is. Chocolate bar, candy bar, canned soda, and the yellow backpack didn't have anything in. So I think I'm probably going to have to take this guy. Is that a book? <laughs> oh God! They absolutely go for it, don't they? That's the second one that's made me jump so far. Oh God! Nearly died. What's this? A hockey stick. I'm shaking. <laughs> It's not me, <laughs> but the, the stick is shaking. I think maybe that's because I'm I'm very nearly dead. That's such a cool effect. I like that. Man, look at this blood. That's nuts. That is a lot of blood. I'm not doing too well. I think maybe I should eat something. Let's give that a go. So I don't know if that's going to make any difference whatsoever. Let's equip. It's, that's kind of cool. Um, what about uh, candy bar, chocolate bar, 
A loony. I'm going to try the loony. One do oh, it's a dollar of currency. Right, okay. So you get descriptions. Contains recommended daily dose of holy nutrients. Nutritions. Nutritions? I think you meant nutrients. Um, okay, let's try that as well. Omni nom ni nom. Food went up to 98. And it looks like I'm gaining health, but very slowly. So it's a chest set. That doesn't look like it is anything. Right, let's go up. <laughs> Give them big hands. They're massive. I'm kind of blocky, like a Minecraft guy, I suppose. I suppose the other the zombies are, so... If there's a zombie up here, I'm absolutely screwed. Just saying. <sighs> oh, shite. I dropped. Ah! <laughs> you fractured to death. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> oh, God. That was not a good first five minutes of the game, was it? Let's try this again. Right. Back on the beach. Slightly different beach. So you don't spawn in the same place every time. And that is probably the place that I came from. I could go over there and get my stuff back. And that is probably a good idea. At least I had a hockey stick that I could use to hit people in the face with. Now, come on then. Let's go for a swim. Is it dangerous under the water? I genuinely don't know. <laughs> it could be. We're going to swim over here. Uh, it doesn't seem to use any stamina, so that's good. It's just very, very slow. Whew. i got to say, the zombies in this are vicious. Usually, like, in games, they give you, like, a, a second to react to something like that. They go, Ugh, and then they sort of lunge at you or something like that. But this is just, like, bam. <laughs> just, just take a zombie to the face, which I guess is pretty realistic. Most people, when attacking something, don't pause. That said, zombies aren't people. What's that? It looks like it might be something on that rock. I check that out before I go up. But, obviously, I've got to be careful what I'm doing. What is it? It looks like a nothing. So that's nice. That's good. It's just a rock. Okay. Let's get up top. I want to go and see if I can get this stuff back. Can I climb? Is climbing a thing? Not so much climbing. I can kind of get up these ledges. That's cool. Right. Need to be kind of... Wait. That is... <laughs> <laughs> that is annoying. Why are there so many people outside all of a sudden? Okay, that's that's not helping, is it? Right, okay, I can't go in and get my stuff back, clearly. How about I drive through town? That may be a bad idea as well. I've only got, it said, like, 12% petrol. So I'm going to back up slightly. This game is surprisingly realistic for something that's basically... Like a Minecraft clone is, but it's not. I mean, it's being very unfair actually comparing it to Minecraft. Graphically, it's a little bit like Minecraft, but it's more like Daisy or or miscreated or something along those lines. I've used two percent of my fuel already. <laughs> it's just charging the car, like yeah. I wonder if it hurts if you run someone over. It, it does take a percent off of your vehicle, so you've got to be super careful. Here. This is off-roader, so I'm going to go up this hill and see if I can get somewhere safe. Those zombies are clearly aggroed. Oh god, this is probably a bad idea. Where am I going? Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> right, okay. Let's carry on down the road. I've only got 7% of fuel left, so... I can't go anywhere particularly good, I don't think. But let's get out of this town, because it's overrun in a big way. I don't know if it gets any better than that, to be honest. I just... I need to find somewhere that I can... I can stock up. Tunnels can't be good. Let's go in there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. The tutorial doesn't really tell you how to survive, just that you can. Oh wow, no. That is a military base and it is completely full of zombies. That is never going to work out. I've only got 2% fuel left. Let's see how far it will get me towards this town. Whew. It's a kind of nerve-wracking experience because you don't really know what you're doing at first. Like all of these survival games, you just got to kind of go for it and hope for the best. It might not be a good idea to sort of roll into town in a vehicle. I'm gonna get out. Yeah, I got no fuel left anyway. So if I get out, then maybe I can sneak into this place, find a weapon or something.
I'm gonna crouch because I don't want to get found. It's just a book. Should I turn TV on? You can lean round corners, by the way. I should have kind of done that before. What's that? It's a bath. This is a very simplistic bathroom. Open. There's nothing in there. There's a... Oh dear. A purple duffel. And a chocolate bar. And I got some lettuce. There's one right there. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the purple duffel bag didn't have anything in. So that's not too great. Let's eat something. Since we can. Eating the lettuce. Om nom nom. There's a deer in the road. There's probably something you can kill for food. Is there anything in that? Ooh, a knife. Right. Okay. I'm going to try and take out this zombie because, quite frankly, if I go out front, I'm going to get attacked by even more zombies, so it's going to have to happen. Wow, okay, I, he didn't hit me. So I, I think that was alright. Oh my god, there's another one. Nasty zombie bastards. Go away. Christ. <laughs> I got sweaty palms. It's hot. <laughs> I got some tape. Oh, there's, there's some stuff in here. Some eggs. How are they not off? Uh, right, let's see. I got another knife. Good. Kitchens have lots of knives in. That kind of makes sense. Got some corn. What's this guy got? He had some more tape and some rope. Dude, I'm sorry. But, you know, he did kind of attack me. A very, very cool slopey staircase. Right, there's no one in here at least. So I put the cap on. Yeah, can I put the cap on? Purple cap. Equip. <laughs> it's got animation for it. That's better than like 90% of games out there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed by this. It's so well done. Right, open. Why have I not tried this before? I feel like I let myself down. <laughs> got some glue. You can't, it doesn't look like you can sleep. I'm gonna keep my knife out though. Because these zombies don't give you any sort of warning. They're just suddenly on you. And no one likes a zombie like that. Zombies. Don't give you personal space. Right. Doesn't look like there's anything else. That's ammo. Without the mouth without the actual gun though, that's not really gonna help, is it? What are we looking at? We got one, two, three, four, five. At least sort of five zombies in the road. That I can see from here. And there's bound to be more, so I'm going to have to sneak through this town. He says as he starts legging it. I don't know how how far the whole they can hear you thing goes. Doesn't look like I can just climb over that. Oh, there's one like right there. Sweaty palm moment. <laughs> This is great, actually. I'm not lying. I like Miscreated. Miscreated is fantastic, but it's very realistic. You know, sometimes you just want to do this sort of thing in a slightly less realistic world. That guy over there's got a hard hat on, and I want his hard hat. But it doesn't look like you can loot their clothes, so... Have it. <laughs> <laughs> like the one hand out. <laughs> Right, that's three more experience. Oh, a flashlight. That's got to be good. I have no idea how to use that. Can I just... Can I just equip it? I can repair, salvage, equip. Oh, that's great. I like that. So, number two. Okay, so toggle light is B. Oh, no, that's to turn it on and off once it's equipped. That's fine. So, B. You could use that to signal people. I like this. Right. 
what else can we do? This guy over there. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get round. I oh, know, maybe I can. Maybe I can. <coughs> ah! <coughs> you son of a bitch. Right, there's another guy over there, so I'm going to have to start taking it easy now. What are they doing? Can I open this? I did, but I opened it from the other end. That's not helpful. And not not entirely realistic. <laughs> I can open them from the other end. These little pathways in between are scary as shit. I like it. Right. I have to admit I'm not good with horror games. Horror films. Horror anything. But this isn't particularly scary because of the graphical details, I think. Right. Ooh, what's this? Nails. <laughs> you probably need those to craft things. You can build your own bases in this, as well as like repair vehicles, as you've seen. We can we can get in vehicles and go for a drive. There's not a lot in here. I'm still kind of expecting to just find a canister full of zombies. <laughs> Yeah, there's a fair amount of them over there. Could get on this boat tug thing. Yeah, this looks like a boat. It's, it looks like a dead one or one lying down over there. And that's a prison, isn't it? That's a prison. Cool. We should go to the prison. Do you think there'll be loads of inmates there? Like orange clothed zombies. What's that? Metal sheet. Another thing. Cloth. Clothy cloth metal sheet thing. Thinking about it earlier actually, when I died, chances are my body probably wasn't even there. If this single player respawn, it may not be persistent. There's definitely something in here. Definitely. Pick up some eggs. Up chocolate bar. It's another kitchen, so I'm just going to end up with with eggs and, and knives. What's he looking at his knife for? Bread. How's all of this stuff is decomposable? <laughs> Why is it all still good? How long has this infection been going for? I wonder. How long has everyone been zombies? Sweater vest. Top hat? Really? Okay. Orange t shirt. Right, okay. Let's get funky. I can't I can't do anything like that. Right, <laughs> so I'm wearing my sweater vest. Oh what <laughs> I'm just clicking stuff and it's just thrown it on the floor. Oh dear, that's really bad. Um I don't know what I'm doing. Am I not I'm like half naked. Whoa. Seriously. Right. Equip. <laughs> that's annoying. Right, so I've got my top hat on. That's exactly what I wanted to do right now. What is that? A smell sheet. So... I want to... How do you... <laughs> How did I get that kid? <laughs> what is even happening now? Oh no. Right, pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. And pick that up as well. But not not wear it. Right. I'm wearing my sweat vest and my top hat just like I wanted to. Right, there's no one out front. I think there's someone upstairs. There's two! That might be a problem. There's no one that way though. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> See what I mean? They do not hold back, do they? I got you though. Hee <laughs> hee. Take it. That was a lot of blood. For absolutely no reason. Can we use this? That would be cool. No, we can't use that. I can pick up some glue though. Nice. Right, what's this? More chess. Everyone plays chess in this game. Oh, maybe that was a bit stupid. Now nah, we're good. 
Ooh, some tape as well. This was not the most prosperous route. I got the damage. They don't seem to have a very long aggro range, which is good. That guy on the floor, there's, I'm doubting that he's actually dead. I think he's probably just, you know, chilling out zombie style. Anything, anything? And I'm hot. Right. Hey, buddy. Oh, I told you. Not dead. Just lazy on the floor <coughs> person. I'll pack it in. <laughs> he was like, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> I like him. He was cool. Right. What else we got? That looks like it. And, you know, pretty safe on the boats. They don't seem to really aggro. That's kind of cool. Right. Now, let's get across. Must be something else cool going on. What else can we find? Right. I don't really want to aggro three of them, but I reckon I could take them. Once you get a weapon, actually, they're not all that bad. Let's, let's give it a go. We're going to have to move through here at some point, so... Haha, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> upcut. Upcut again. Actually, that does a lot of damage, or it seems to, anyway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Once you get your... Once you get your timing right, that's actually pretty good. Let's go in here. He doesn't seem so aggro-y. Ooh, a laptop. Clearly useless. A paintball hopper? Why would you want to use a... Ooh, a hockey stick. Ooh. Ooh, I think hockey stick over knife. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, go on then. Let's go hockey stick. Right, one, two. Where's my torch gone then? Ah, okay, screw it. Let's check out the hockey stick. <coughs> Come up me. Ah. <coughs> oh wait. Ooh, maybe not as good as a knife. Hmm. Seems to stun them for longer, I think. Everyone wants some. Um, pa. Oh wait, this guy's big. He looks beefy. <coughs> Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. Oh he was a bit over the top, wasn't he? Right, should we should we put our put ourselves in a box? Whew! Right. Food. Equip. Om nom 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 nom. Yeah, that didn't really do much. Eat some more. Yeah, still need some more. Alright, that kind of worked. Do I have a drink on me? Oh, I'm not sure I do. I can't drink glue. I got no drink! Wow, I'm going to have to go find some. That'll do for today though, guys. If you really like this video, please hit like and subscribe and I will do some more Unturned for you. I'm enjoying it. Although, it seems a little tricky. We'll see how it goes in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Right.